Good morning from beautiful Venice. Romantic, iconic, a bucket list destination for large numbers of Americans. But it turns out you can love a place too much. Venice, city of secrets, history and culture. But there's one aspect of this alluring place that is hard to hide. It is crumbling, flooding, sinking. NBC News was given rare access to parts of the city many tourists don't see and told stories of unease that often go unheard. In St. Mark's Square, they've been serving coffee from this cafe since 1750. Today, it's protected by a flood barrier. Here. Here. And modern technology. We have uh, an app, you know, High Tide Venice. We know <laughs> every day, all the time, the level of the water. Because beneath the tide of tourists, some 70,000 every day, are fears that the foundations of Venice are being eroded as giant cruise ships cut through the ancient canals and about the city's vulnerability to climate change and rising waters. 60% of the buildings on the Grand Canal are damaged by the wash from the many boats. Venice was once another world. The wealthy family that lived here at the Palazzo Pisani 400 years ago would have been modern day billionaires. 200 rooms and 400 windows. That's a lot of windows to repair. With a trail of family secrets. There are Masonic symbols everywhere. There are many and many secret passages everywhere. This palazzo is full of hidden staircases which goes up and down. This way it takes exactly to the Mason temple. This, the crumbling reality behind the Venetian facade. This is the Sala d'Oro with the golden room. And once it was totally covered with gold. The palace, now a music center, needs repairs. It's a piece of our art and our culture, and it's been a temple of the music for more than one century. The money from tourism is not reaching these corners. The danger is always there. That it becomes another hotel. Over my dead body. <laughs> and it's not only the buildings that are endangered, it's the Venetian yes. people. You live in history. Uh, here you are, yeah, on, on our shoulders, they're uh, very heavy, I have to tell you. Local historian Francesco De Mosto. So we have to decide, do we want the culture or do we want the progress so we can mix them together? Claims Venice is sinking in greed. Fifteen years ago, I didn't have to build this jetty to go there. Many locals are leaving, he says. Venice doesn't need so much tourism. So much to him is destroying Venice. We are resisting. When you lose the, the soul of a place, then it's lost. American Marie met her husband Roberto here. I'll give you a year, 1985, and got married two years later. I was here on vacation. 30 years of marriage, my friend. <laughs> yeah, it'll be 31. 31, <laughs> yes. How's it going? I'm, I'm a lucky guy, huh? <laughs> and they say they'll never turn their backs on its beauty despite the tourists these days who turn up just to post a selfie. They all got the selfie that we can leave now, but you don't even realize where you are. So Venice needs to be understood and needs to be savored. This mesmerizing city, birthplace of a billion romances, finding that beauty can be a double-edged sword. What we've learned on this assignment is that this is not a floating museum. It is not a real life theme park. It is a living place. And if it is not going to be a dying place, that's coming down to the individual, moral, difficult decisions by people who live here, whether to take the perhaps short term money for more tourism or stay and fight for their culture. Back to you guys. All right. Yeah. Jerry Simmons for us there in Venice. Kier, thank you for all of us who've been to that. Uh, yeah beautiful city. It's kind of hard to watch this. Yeah. It is. It's magical, and I mean, yeah. I think he... Even for those who've never been there, it's hard yeah. to watch. Yeah. The yeah. logistics of it, just living on water like that, it's just amazing. I've, I've actually gotten to witness Trash Day. They're little garbage scows yeah. up and down. It's, it's really amazing. It's, it's incredible. Yeah. we got to preserve it somehow. Yes. I should go and examine that. Exactly. <laughs>